Father. Hi. Thanks for watching my review of the movie Seven Pounds. Now, I'm not going to show my whole face on here because I'm painfully shy. That's one of the reasons I related to the movie. But here's my review. My name is Chris Prumper. In the movie Seven Pounds by Will Smith, Rosario Dawson, and Woody Harrelson, it's a film about redemption. I just saw it just a little while ago and thought I'd post this because I went to my two favorite websites and found alarmingly negative reviews. One was at wikipedia.org and the other was at metacritic.com which gave it only a 36 out of 100 which is a very low score. If you watch this movie and you're trying to figure it out or what it meant to you, here's my take on it. First of all, I got to know Will Smith years ago when I was in high school. Will Smith was a rapper. He was known as DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. I related to Will Smith because I was a non-violent, middle-class white boy who'd never been in a gang in Compton. I liked Easy e I liked N.W.A., Dre, and all the boys. An Easy song where he does the lyrics, Lay down and unbutton your bra. Where's the biggest titties that a beef ever saw? Was real cool. But I wasn't a beef. So I couldn't relate to that very well, and at the time I'd never seen any titties. Well, no, actually I had seen a titty, because I saw my stepmama's titty when she was feeding my little stepbrother. You know what I thought the first time I saw her titty? I thought, my gosh, right there, looks just like the pepperoni on a Totino's frozen pizza. A pepperoni with a pencil eraser stuck right in the middle. But anyway, I didn't relate to the Beastie Boys either, because I didn't party. I was sort of awkward and socially disgraced. So why would I want to fight for my right to? So I related to Will Smith. Then he did that god-awful TV show, and then he started really acting, so I wanted to see Seven Pounds. Plus, I'd seen that Rosario Dawson on Celebrity Poker. Ooh, all in on that one, baby. All in. So the movie... Seven Pounds, this is what my take is on it, actually. I thought the characters of Will Smith and Rosario Dawson both were lonely and desperate. I could relate to that. And the thing that was the best part was the very end, the scene where Will Smith's in the bathtub, and he's there with the jellyfish. I found that extremely erotic. Apparently it was the climax of the movie, and it was supposed to be erotic. Matter of fact, it shocked me later after watching the movie. I was masturbating, and I did not have my computer, so I didn't have the ability to watch any kind of Internet porn or look at pictures or anything. So I was having to use the recesses of my mind. And right before I climaxed, I saw two things that were from movies that I have recently seen. One was from that movie Monsters vs. Aliens, where that girl gets real big. I was imagining John Normica's Vaginica. And then the other thing I saw was Will Smith laying in that bathtub with that floating jellyfish. That jellyfish was pink and floating all around his body. I just imagined it was a floating vagina with little floating pink pubic hairs coming out of it. So when I saw it, the weird thing is Will Smith was naked and in the movie he's not. Let's just say he might rap like a white boy, but that's where the similarities end. So I watched the movie, and I thought it was pretty good. I don't think they should have given it such a terrible, terrible review. So that's my take on Seven Pounds with Will Smith and Rosarius Daughter. Rosarius. <laughs> I've gone this far without making any stupid mistakes to embarrass myself, and there I call it Rosarius. Good grief. Well, that's my review on this movie. Maybe I'll try to do this again. I'm Chris... What is my name? Chris Crumpler. So long.